If you've received treatment for myeloma and you've had a complete response, that is to say if standard tests can find no myeloma remaining in your body, your doctor may test your bone marrow and tell you that you are MRD negative or positive. But what does that mean? MRD stands for Minimal Residual Disease, which is the term doctors use to describe the small numbers of myeloma cells that can remain in the body of a patient who has received treatment. MRD testing is a newer, much more sensitive test that is done after a patient has achieved a complete response to see if any myeloma cells can be found. Myeloma cells that remain in your body after treatment could cause the cancer to come back, that is, to relapse. Some MRD tests are so sensitive that they can detect a single myeloma cell in a million healthy cells. Patients who have no detectable myeloma cells after treatment tend to have longer remissions. There are two main tests that are used to measure MRD. One test is flow cytometry. In flow cytometry, cells from a sample taken from your bone marrow are mixed with a dye that stains myeloma cells but leaves healthy cells unmarked. After getting mixed with the dye, the cells are run through a machine called a flow cytometer, which uses a laser to count the dyed myeloma cells. The other MRD test is the sequencing test. In this test, DNA is usually taken from the cells of your bone marrow sample and then run through a machine called a sequencer. The sequencer looks at the structure of the DNA, that is, the genetic makeup in the cells of the bone marrow sample. By comparing the results of this sequencing test to results that were obtained from the bone marrow sample taken when you were first diagnosed, the healthcare team can determine if myeloma cells are present even after treatment. If one of these tests finds that myeloma cells are still present in your sample after treatment is completed, you are what is referred to as MRD positive. If you are MRD positive, you may not have any symptoms of myeloma, but your risk of relapse is higher. Your healthcare team will be on the lookout for signs of relapse and will be able to respond quickly if your disease worsens. If myeloma cells are not detected in your sample, you are said to be MRD negative. An MRD negative result means that your treatment is working. Patients who achieve MRD negativity go longer without disease recurrence than patients who are MRD positive. MRD testing is usually performed at specific points of a patient's treatment. For instance, after a patient has completed combination therapy, or for patients who undergo a stem cell transplant after the transplant. Current myeloma treatment guidelines support the use of annual MRD testing for patients who are receiving maintenance therapy. Currently, MRD testing is conducted primarily from bone marrow samples, but blood samples can also be used. So, even if you are considered MRD negative, myeloma cells could still be present elsewhere in your body. To complement MRD testing in the bone marrow, the healthcare team needs to use imaging technology, for example, PET scans or CT scans, to detect myeloma in other areas of the body. The use of MRD testing as a strategy for checking the effectiveness of myeloma treatment is still relatively new. The technology for measuring MRD is still evolving, and it is still unclear how the information from MRD tests can be best used to help patients get the most out of their treatment. The outlook for MRD testing to become an important component of myeloma patient care is bright. It's currently approved by Medicare. And with the help of the myeloma community, the MMRF is currently in discussion with the Food and Drug Administration to make MRD a focus for multiple myeloma clinical trials. In clinical trials, MRD testing could help doctors and researchers more quickly determine whether a new myeloma treatment is working, which could in turn speed the new treatment's approval. Your doctor can tell you if MRD testing is available to you and what the results of MRD might mean for your care.